slipped and fell in the water. God, no, Jimmy. Oh, dude, that's a good one. Should be one right here. See this little indention on the bank? Uh oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Dude, that's a really big one. Oh, no. Bigger than that, bro. Oh, dude, it's huge. Yo, what's poppin', people? Welcome back to another video of Kicking Their Bass TV. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We're on the road to 500K, and I cannot thank you guys enough. That, that It's just amazing, guys. That's a big milestone for me, and we're just this close to it. So if you guys could hit that subscribe button, it would mean a lot. Tell your mom, tell your grandma, tell your dad to go subscribe to the channel. But I have my buddy with me today. We got a little collab going on. Got my boy Fletcher. What's right going here. on, guys? I know it's been forever since you've seen him. <laughs> in the, it's been like a week. But um, today we're going to be actually fishing the golf course. You know, one of the last videos you saw with Fletcher was us fishing a golf course. And we're out here today because they're not golfing. And we're going to see if we can... Um, Catch some big fish. We're gonna try some different areas yeah, today no, too. Yeah, we are. We're gonna try the pond over there that uh, we fished briefly, like off camera. Um, did you know we, I, I put one catch. Uh, did in you there. put one catch? Yeah, in we there? we only fished this pond for probably what 20, 15 minutes max. Yeah, it wasn't very long. The but only I was time we fished it. We've only fished that one for like 15 minutes. I think we're gonna start off with that one today. I'm gonna be chucking a frog because guess what, man? I love frog fishing. We don't have. Much time for frog fishing, bro. It might and it might cut out. It's running thin. It's running thin right now. We got a <laughs> we got a few weeks. <laughs> a few weeks around here. Maybe a month if we're lucky. Where we're at now, you know, where we're at. But uh you gotta love frog fishing. So, anyways, we're gonna hop right into this. We're gonna tie up a rod. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm throwing. And we're gonna try to catch some big fish. If you guys wanna check out the big bass energy clothing line link down below. Thank you guys so much for the support. Everybody who's ordered some of the merch recently. Can't thank you guys enough. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. Well, the combos that I brought out today, I got uh, the old Christmas edition in the, <laughs> look at this Fletcher. I, I got a little low when I was, Christmas. yeah, I got the Christmas edition, man. Not not the most ideal thing I want to be throwing, the, <laughs> the, the red on the green, but you know, that's what we got today. That was the bait that I was throwing on the near. You know what that is? That's a big, uh... you know what it's called? What's it called? What's, it's a, it's what's a chug it? bug. A chug That's bug? actually a saltwater lure. Yeah, dude, they crush it. I mean, cr I mean, look at it. Look at it. Boom. You, you can see the teeth marks on that thing. Uh, they, they were just hammering yeah, that thing. Yeah. And you got those galvanized hooks. That's how you know it's a saltwater bait. Yeah. But uh, then we got a pro ti on a mock crush. I'm gonna rig up a bottom bait on this for later on during the day if if the frog bite's just not happening. But I'm I am gonna put a frog on this rod. If you guys are wondering what frog, let me show you. We got the old Vega Frog by Six Cents. If you want to get a discount, I'll pop the code up on the screen and you can go check them out. But this is just a white Vega Frog. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, it's actually very cloudy today and uh, it feels great out. And usually I would not throw a white frog on a cloudy day. I'd probably prefer a black frog. But uh, what are you throwing today? Uh, I'm throwing, I, I can't decide. I've been catching a few on this on this swim bait right here recently. So I might throw this for a little bit. It's a little curly tail guy right there and then um then a wacky rig i think and we have a little so you're just throwing whatever we got, we got a variety <laughs> of things so we got all kinds of things going you're just on. trying to catch some fish today that's ex exactly what the all move right. is well that's cool guys we're gonna tie this up and uh get started like i said if they're not biting this we're gonna switch up let's get it all right so oh look at that bird all right so uh fletcher is on the phone right now so i'm gonna cast right here this isn't the pond that we're gonna really start off on but guess what we're gonna make a few casts because if we can catch one real quick, that would be awesome. I'm just hoping they're gonna come up for top today. I'm praying we don't have too much longer with this top water bite, so I wanna juice it for as much as I can get it for. Hopefully we'll get us a really good one right here. There's no more grass. There was a lot of grass here previously, as you guys know from other videos that we filmed and all the grass has just about died off now. Oh guys, that's... Oh my God, that was a freaking joke. 
What? No way. I don't know. This is a different fish. Oh my gosh. What? Look at that little fatty. First fish today. Good thing we stopped here and made some cast. That first bite, holy mother of pearl. That was about a three and a half pounder. But we got us a little active one pounder right here on the Vega Frog in white. Dude, let's go. That's a good sign. Those are some aggressive freaking bites. That first one was, oh, come on. <laughs> Most aggressive little tiny dude I've ever seen. Beautiful color. Dude, I had a Megalodon hit me right before. So I cast it all the way up in that corner. Freaking like three and a half pounder, dude. And I hooked it. My frog hit the water about 15 foot closer to me. I popped it a couple times and this one ate it. <laughs> and he's a, he was just about to jerk my hand off a second ago. I mean, it's really, really clear. That was one of the most hyper fish I've ever caught. All right. <laughs> Dude, you should have saw him shaking a second ago. If I had a Caesar with that thing in my hand. I can already see. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Let me cast in this corner one more time. That bite was too, too wicked. Here. I'll show you. It was, it was right, right there. Dude, it, the bite was like insane dude was it instant um i made it over there i popped it about three times and i was like look at this cast and all of a sudden dude he was big oh dude that was a football he, what the heck's going on watch what's going on i think dude what is going on you can't tell me i have to leave here right now fletcher <laughs> all right i'm gonna just make one more all right bro they're biting homie something just hit over there too i mean i just jerked my frog under the surface and he ate it that, that just tells you that today's gonna be a good day <laughs> i i don't think i can ever recall a moment where a, a fish ate my frog while i was jerking it like a fluke what a great start to today guys that, that's just awesome right there i wish we would have caught more than that one fit i mean we technically caught two but there was some fish in this corner maybe once we hit that new pond that we're talking about maybe we'll come back over here because they're eating it and if they're going to eat a frog you best have bet i'm gonna throw it in there right there that's what i need to be doing come out of the tree and eat it Yeah, I'm down. I got a little too excited there. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I know we'll catch him in here, but... <laughs> Yeah, we'll, we'll go fish that other place. As much as I don't want to when you're catching them like that. It's a pretty little fish, ain't it? That's a nice one. Looks a little bit better than the, the first one you got. Yeah. It's about the same. It's a little bigger, just not as fat. Well, I guess we're going to go to the other pond. They're biting in here. We, we'll come back. We'll come back for a few casts before we leave this area. But second fish today, technically third already. It's going to be a good day. Can we wait for the leaf blower guy? Yeah, we should probably wait for the leaf blower guy. That's annoying. Yeah. Well, Fletcher just gave me another excuse to make... Oh my God, I'm about to slip. <laughs> There's zero tread on these tires, boys. <laughs> Fletcher just gave me another excuse to cast again, so. Yo, shout out to whoever just bought some merch. You're the man. Actually, all right, there's two orders. Shout out to Carl and Shannon. Big shout out, especially to Shannon. I'm pretty sure she's already made a couple orders this week. Big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much for supporting the brand, supporting the channel. It means a lot. And you can get your merch today at kickingtheirbass.com. These fish, bro. They are really munching it. Oh, no. What in the world, dude? That's the one thing about braid. It will randomly break your heart. Fletcher, I don't even know what I got going on, dude. Oh, no. No, bro. I already don't have enough braid on this reel. Oh, dude, it did it. To, yeah, it did it to me. 
for no reason like literally no reason that's that's the thing about braid it will literally backlash for z zero reason given it just wants to mess you up i will be right back it's just so aggravating we might not have any more long casts today like if this was like my fault i would be f more fine with it but the fact that it just did it for no reason is annoying all right we're gonna come back and grab this but i'm just gonna set this right here until we leave i'll ball it up so i can see it to grab it all right i'm gonna retie this frog now basic uni knot i've only said it a million times but i know some of you guys haven't seen it oh what in the world what are you doing over there boy <laughs> yeah all right we're good i'm gonna set the scissors here so i remember to grab that braid all right we walked down a little bit Let's see if there's some along these tree lines i actually think these bass are roaming a little bit more today i think these bass are uh, roaming this tree line edge with these clouds out I've had a ton of bites in the same spot unless there's just a ton of fish stacked up there. Oh my god, there's a bass in front of me. I might should throw at this bank. He sees me. Or does he? What? He's looking at me. Watch this, guys. Oh, there's two. Oh, yeah. Two bass. Probably should have thrown down the bank before I walked up on it. It's one thing to think about. Always fish your fish the bank before you walk up on it. Yeah, he ain't gonna eat it. He did see me. He nosed up to it like he was gonna eat it. Now all we gotta do is start throwing parallel, catch these fish before we walk up on them. The pond is very clear today too. It's actually been there's another one right there swimming. He's actually going right over to my frog. They are not gonna eat it, but I can tell you what those bass are doing and we were just talking about, they're roaming. They're roaming up and down this bank right now, trying to find some bait to eat. It's what they do on these cloudy days. And that's exactly what those bass are doing. We were just talking about it, them roaming that tree line. They're actually roaming this flat bank. Should be one in this corner. I'm a betting man. All right, there was one schooling over there. I started reeling in my frog, and one just about. Ugh, what the heck! I didn't hook him. He should have eat it. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. There's no way. It's always stupid stuff that happens. There we go. He choked it, dude. I mean, that one choked. I choked it. Oh, yeah. You like that frog, don't you, boy? Oh, yeah. And your friends are over there schooling, so I'm going to get you back in the water. They tried to distract me from catching you the first time. Good thing you fell for it. Dude, they are, they are schooling under them trees. This is crazy. All right. Thank you, bud. You're a beautiful little fish. Thank you so much for making an episode of Kicking the Bass TV, baby. Okay, now let's try to catch these fish. Remember when I made those casts over there, those just amazing casts, they're jumping over there. Let's see if we can catch one. Yeah, these fish are roaming the banks, guys. That's exactly what those bass are doing on that side. Those bass are just going up and down the bank, chasing bait. But they're a little up. That was a horrible cast. They're a little up in those trees right now, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get one to bite. I don't know if I've ever tried to cast all the way across this. If I had that line that didn't break off, I could easily do it. Oh yeah, that's it guys, that's it. Something fell in the water. God, no, Jimmy. 
Dude, they're just, some of them just aren't eating it. And I'm throwing my medium heavy because I wanted to jank them today. And it's just, if I had my heavy, I'd probably catch all those fish. I need to change out these tires on my feet, dude. I keep slipping. I, I've literally almost fell probably four times since the last time you saw me. <laughs> it's, it's, it, bro, when I mean there's no tread on these things, there ain't nothing. Dude, that's when that gator chased me out of the pond. <laughs> Schooling frog action, maybe? I got some grass on my frog. <laughs> oh! Dude, that's a good one, Fletcher. He actually ate it. He's running at me so hard. He came off. Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> he was running at me. I didn't even know. Aha! <laughs> he looks so much bigger out there. They look so big when they dive on it. That's a good fish, though. Whew. Man, these fish got me huffing and puffing today. They were just schooling out there. I threw my frog in there and he ate it. Crazy. I am walking the frog, though. You know, I'm working it like a little tiny bait fish. Oh my gosh, got myself soaked. Nice. That was a perfect landing for that bass, just so he wouldn't get away from me. Usually I want to be able to throw a frog out there and stuff like this, but this frog, one, being a popping frog, and two, with, with how I'm walking this thing, I can work it in open water. Hold up, we got a shout out coming up. Shout out to Paul for purchasing a Big Bass Energy hoodie. Thank you so much, Paul, for the support. You're the man. A little bit of slop right there. Knock my sunglasses off. Holy cow. That actually seemed like a decent one. He should hit it again. He... Oh, yeah, that's a decent one. I think this is a different fish. That's a good one. Best fish today. <clears throat> Get up here, boy. God, boys. Look at this. We're just smoking them today. That's a beautiful bass right there. Look at him. Oh, he's right here, he's right here. Get off my hook, you twinkie. The one time I asked for you to get off my hook. Yeah. Okay, beautiful fish, almost a two pounder. Throw him back in the water. Thank you, Jimmy. All right. Now, let me get this grass off here. Holy cow. That was a different fish. I actually made a bad cast. Started reeling it in and saw a wake behind me paused my frog completely and he engulfed it we might be able to catch like three fish right here we're not even going to need to go to that new pond for a video i swear we're just they're biting today man i haven't seen these fish bite in a good couple weeks like that fishing's been tough everywhere i've really been oh what is up with that man well first pond very successful honestly we got way more fish than i was expecting to catch here this wasn't even our goal to come to this pond, really. We were gonna go hit that other one, but there was a guy with the mower, and it was just really loud, so we didn't wanna go out there, but I'm very happy with what we caught. We're gonna go ahead and go on to pond number two and see if we can catch some more fish and hopefully catch some bigger ones, but I think they're gonna bite today if we get in front of some big ones. All right, we just got to the pond, guys. We haven't really fished this one in the videos, and look at that slop that we have in this corner. That is perfect for this old Vega frog to go through. We're gonna smoke him in the slop. Oh man. Right there. Oh God, dude. Don't do that. Are you freaking kidding me, dude? Yeah, have it tangled up again. I mean, I can't afford to have no tangled up. And I did, you know? Dude, that's, that's just ridiculous, man. Like, how ridiculous is that, though? I got like, well, guys, we might be done frog fishing today. That's just ridiculous. We are gonna throw this little Ned rig I had on from that tip video that we filmed last week. If you haven't watched that, be sure to go check it out. It's a cool little video. All right. By the way, this Ned rig is not meant to throw it on a bait capture. I think everybody knows that, but. Whoa! A little tiny bass just hit my line and he ate it. Oh my God, it's the smallest bass I've ever caught. That's a bass, bro. 
That's a bass. He jumped up after my line. And, uh, all right, this is, you gotta take a picture on this. It's more important than my PB shot. What a freaking toad. Probably the biggest fish I caught all year. Like this is a Ned rig, guys. This ain't no normal worm. Like that, that fish is every bit of four inches. Oh my God, one does eight bait. Right there. Oh! Dude. I literally watched him dive over it. Really? Yeah, it was so cool. Nice. Yes, sir. Little fatty. That is a fat guy. Look at that. Oh my gosh, he almost choked it. Short and fat. That is awesome, man. That was a cool bite. That was cool. I literally watched him like dive over that thing. Oh, the same freaking thing, bro. That's a better one. Next cast. He did the same thing as the last one. Oh my gosh, it's the same fish. That was literally deja vu if I know it, bro. That was insane. It is literally hooked in the same spot too. Dude, that was literally the same clip. There's nothing different. <laughs> like it, literally the same thing. That's crazy. That one's a little better though. It's a longer fish, not as fat. He's still a fat guy, but man. Dude, that is insane. I'm having to kind of hop this bait because there's so much grass on the bottom. So I'm kind of like throwing it out there and just hopping it, trying to keep it a little bit off the bottom. That's why those fish are diving over it like that. Dude, that is insane. <clears throat> Bro, they are munching it, Fletcher. This one has like a little kicker tail on it. Yeah, they're up on the bank and I'm not even See, the thing is, I'm not letting it hit the bottom. I'm just kind of popping it because it's so much grass. Gosh, these fish are awesome. It's so much fun throwing a bait like that. I just don't, I don't do it much. Should be one right here. See this little indention on the bank? Uh-oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Dude, that's a really big one. Oh, no. Bigger than that, bro. Oh, dude, it's huge, Fletch. Oh, God. It has to be six plus. I'm not even kidding. Oh, that big? I'm praying that my hook doesn't. Dude. Oh, yeah. That's oh. A big boy. That's a big boy. My hook's like, like a light wire, bro. Yeah, here, I, can, I can get her for you. Oh, dude, right here, Fletcher. Oh, dude, that's like a seven pounder. Six, seven pounder. Grab that thing, please. Oh man, did you get it? <laughs> look at that belly. Oh. We were just talking about it. Dude, look at that. <laughs> Dude. We gotta go get the scale. Bro, now. that is, bro, look at the that stomach. Is turbo. I mean, look at the belly, dude. <laughs> like, look at my fist. Oh my God, you can show it to your fam. Look at the Good belly gracious. on that fish. Man. That's a tank. Oh, that thing's bent out too. I know. <laughs> oh. All right, guys. <laughs> Damn it. Hold that fish up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, she's dude. so big. Man, she's not. Man. Was she like high five, five? Five and three quarters. Yeah, I was gonna say high five fives. Pounds, 11 ounces, baby. Wow. Six pounder. You can't complain. Can't complain. Can't complain. With just the way this fish looks. <laughs> Like, that is just ridiculous. That's how a 10-pounder looks, but just longer. It literally is. That's why I was saying, I was like, if this fish was a little bit bigger, just overall, it'd be an 8-pounder, you know? It's just... All day. Oh, man. That's a, that's a future giant. Well, guys, we got to get back in there now. Get a beautiful release on this fish. Maybe get a quick picture. That is just awesome. All right, guys. Almost a 6-pounder. Let's get her back in the water. That, man. Man, on a Ned rig. Unnatural fish right here. I just want you to look at that. <laughs> you don't catch them like that too often. Oh, oh, she's ready, Art. Look at that. She wasted no time. Look at that. We kept her in the water, made sure she was safe. I was, I was kind of scared of an alligator, bro, when you were over there. Oh, like one coming up. Yeah, <laughs> Man, ending off the video with that one.